Praise be Jesus and Mary. The most sacred heart of Jesus burns with love for the eternal salvation of souls. And in today's gospel, we hear of his zeal, his zeal in speaking clearly about the eternal consequences of sin and the necessity to avoid the occasions of sin. He says, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. The one thing that separates us from God is mortal sin. The one thing that separates us from God is mortal sin. This is why we need to avoid the occasions of sin. And the reality is, our human nature is wounded. We know this through, by our faith, but also through experience. We have concupiscence. Our human nature is, even after baptism, it is weakened and wounded. And this inclination to sin, this concupiscence, is present. So if we put ourselves in the occasion of sin with this concupiscence, we are not doing ourselves a favor. We should not flirt with sin, and we need to avoid the occasions of sin. Moral theologians also speak of certain cases where there are quote-unquote necessary occasions of sin. For a father, for example, who needs to provide for his family and he needs to work to make money to support his family, those are quote-unquote necessary occasions of sin. Even in those cases, we need to make that proximate occasion of sin remote. And how do we do that? Through prayer, frequenting the sacraments, mortification of the senses, interior recourse to the Blessed Mother. Our external circumstances never determine our interior dispositions. Even in those cases, we need to make that proximate necessary occasion of sin remote. In her zeal, Our Lady shows the three children at Fatima the vision of hell. Why does she do this? Because she is moved to warn her children of this reality. You know, woe to us, woe to me as a priest if I do not preach this truth. Not preaching this truth does not make it less true. It is a reality. And hence, we need to, in our charity, warn people, you know, in the appropriate circumstances. We need to warn people, and Our Lady does this at Fatima. And she says at the end, God wishes to save souls. She asks for prayer and sacrifices. And she says, God wishes to establish in the world devotion to her immaculate heart. Her immaculate heart is our sure refuge. Saint after saint after saint tells us, they all tell us, that whoever is truly devoted to Our Lady, whoever entrusts themselves to Our Lady, will not perish. They will receive either the grace of repentance, the last sacraments, something Our Lady will not abandon them especially at the moment of death. Our Lady's Immaculate Heart is our sure refuge, and she is the way that will lead us to God.